this is the ultimate Solstice of Heroes preparation guide. This seasonal event has now become a staple during the summertime in Destiny 2 and I'm here today to show you some crazy builds which will help you create a ton of elemental orbs quickly for each class, obtain the new magnificent Solstice armor fast and finally fully upgrade it to be fully masterwork, therefore being totally prepared for year 4 and beyond light all the while looking like yeah. Solstice of Heroes begins at reset on August 11th. So first off, let's just have a quick overview how this event works and how to create elemental orbs. If you don't want an overview or refresh on how the system works for Solstice of Heroes and are here just for the spicy builds, then please use the timestamps down below. Now I know you'll be like, this event isn't even live yet, how can you create a guide for it? Well, for Solstice of Heroes, the system has roughly been the same for each iteration of the event, with only minor changes each year, but generally the orb production has stayed untouched, which it is likely to do this year too. The only major change could be what and how collecting a set number of orbs matching that day's elemental burn will affect you. This has previously been buffs to weapons and abilities or both, with last year's elemental charge buff centred around collecting 30 matching burn orbs to get a buff depending on your subclass. This won't affect orb generation in general, but if any of this above does change massively, expect an updated video here on the channel. So you can create orbs on final blows with any weapon or ability and the orbs created will depend on which elemental type your weapon is, and you'll get a bonus orb to match your subclass too. Kinetic weapon final blows will count as whatever your subclass is. A final blow generally creates 3 orbs, with 2 matching your weapon element and 1 matching your subclass. You get more orbs on final blows on higher tier enemies too. Now collecting these orbs, as well as getting a variety of final blows in Strikes, Gambit and the Crucible, as well as the reprised European Aerial Zone, will all count towards completing the objectives required to upgrade the armor sets all the way from the Renewed to Majestic and finally the Magnificent Solstice Armor Set. I'll put these steps up on screen to aid with coordinating what you need to achieve on each armor piece for each of the classes. Now in terms of creating orbs, you can mix and match subclasses and weapons, but I've always found being hyper specific to what orbs slash ability kills you need helps the most and will complete the objectives the quickest. So now let's look at a number of quick and easy builds for each class and subclass. These are all going to incorporate getting fast multi kills effectively, matching as many top tier perks buffs and exotics as possible, and we are starting first with Warlocks. Now there's nothing too in depth here as we try to keep it simple, but extremely powerful at a base level. Solar Warlocks will want to use top tree attunement of Sky, and pair it with the exotic chest armour Wings of Sacred Dawn. This is so we can really take advantage of getting kills whilst airborne to recharge your melee ability quickly. Consider putting in some braces instead to really double down on that solar wombo combo with infinite solar grenades. As for weapons here, I'd go for solar heavy hitters like Prometheus Lens, Xenophage or even Hair Apparent to get them higher tier enemy kills fast. Void Walkers will definitely want top tree attunement of chaos to benefit from bloom in void ability kills as well as the tracking Nova Bomb. Nezarak Sin is going to be a great option, as well as any void weapons such as the Recluse and Hammerhead. Telesto could also be a great void option due to its high multi kill potential, especially when paired with the heavy handed and quick charge armor mods to supply near unlimited fusion rifle ammo. As for the Arc Boys, Top Tree Attunement of Conduction is the way. The arc web ability is a must as is also the crown of tempest to get insane ability and super recharge speeds. Risk Runner and Trinity Ghoul are possibly the only genuine arc weapons of choice, but even Thunderlord here is a top shout. Now there's a super grindy arc super ability kill objective for the legendary armor set with 150 arc super final blows required on guardians in Gambit 
or the Crucible. Now wherever you decide to do this, I can only recommend the attunement of Control and the Geomag Stabilizers to keep you topped up with super energy to make this step less tedious. Now as we move on to Titans and Hunters, we will keep the weapon choices the same as above, bar one which we will mention later on. Starting with the Hunters and the Arc Striders. Lucky Raspberry is my shout here. This gives a buff to the Arc Bolt Grenade, making it chain more consistently and to more enemies. You'll want to pair this also with the Way of the Warrior for the combination blow and deadly reach combo, which is so incredibly overpowered when it comes to melee final blows. Any demolitionist perk weapon here too will definitely help. As for Night Stalkers, there isn't any other choice here than the top tree Way of the Trapper's tether ability, along with Orpheus rigs so we won't dwell on this one too much. Gunslingers will want to use the middle tree Way of a Thousand Cuts for the knife trick melee ability, which stacks to increase its damage and cooldown time. But aside from the obvious shards of Galanor, I'd also consider using the exotic Young Hahamkara's Spine, along with the Tripmine Grenade. This combo will grant you near unlimited solar melee and grenade ability, as well as increasing their potency too. It's a unique combo, but one that will guarantee you solar ability kills instead of just waiting on your super, which you'll have anyway. As for Titans, these are the least complex options, as I don't massively spend a load of time on perfecting my Titan craft, so sound off below with any better options. Striker Titans will want the insurmountable Skull Fort. As always, I will pair it with the Middle Tree Code of the Missile and the Ballistic Slam. Dune Marchers are also a great call here, so take your pick. Both will offer some form of unlimited melees. Sunbreakers will want to also consider using the exotic Worm God Caress and Hammer Throw melee ability. These will offer insane one shot melees on even the highest tier enemies and you can chuck on the solar plexus artifact mod for even more damage. For the more laid back though, Hollow Fire Heart is good for increased ability regen speed. Sentinels, Doomfangs, done. Now these are all just solid builds and are somewhat my go to when I'm not doing anything specific as they are incredibly easy to set up. Bear in mind that there is potential for Warmind Cell builds, where Sunshot and others will be great options to create orbs too, but I'm not so sure that this will work until the event starts and I can test it out. I just wanted to put out this guide to help give you a step up in flying out of the gates at the start of the Solstice of Heroes in order to get that sweet masterworked armour as quickly as possible. If there's any new methods or super impressive builds that come out of this event, you can be sure that I'll be here to cover them, but it is likely just to be a standard grind as always, so we're likely to be in it for the long haul. If you've enjoyed this video, chuck us some likes down below as well as hitting that subscribe button. With the season extended, we've got a ton of fun and unique builds coming to the channel, so keep it here for more Destiny 2. As always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.